All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a uh, inguinal injury, similar to that of like the Black Hawk Down type of movie. Um, I'm gonna show you first without doing it with the belt and basically making the belt out of the dressing itself. And then later on, I will show you guys how to at least make a belt for him um, with say a cravat and whatnot. Um, so let me get right into it. Okay, so this wound right here, again right here, pretty much where that iliac or the uh, inguinal ligament is coming across here or that almost like the V with your actual uh, pubic area, all right, where that V would be. Okay, so I'm gonna pack, 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 again against that artery. Now I'm gonna put this bandage right over the top of where that injury actually is. I'm gonna come underneath the actual leg, extend this out right here. Now the important thing is to make this as tight as possible as you guys are wrapping it. If you guys don't do that when you guys make the belt, it's gonna end up coming super low, all right? So with that, I'm gonna come up above his iliac crest over here, making that extremely tight inside of that area. It's gonna be uncomfortable for him, but that way it actually stays up. Now I'm gonna go underneath this part right here, pull up and toward his back. Okay, so now I'm pulling this pretty much inside of his gluteal cleft or right back here by the actual spine. From there, I'm gonna wrap one more time around the actual belt and that way it actually stays in place when you guys do uh, go underneath, okay? So from there, I'm gonna go underneath here, wrap up, and I like to make this one, this first one kind of over the top, um, pretty much on the right side, or on the medial side of the actual dressing, and then come back down. I'm trying to cover up the whole entire dressing as I actually come up. Now, now again, I'm gonna go back by his spine, Back down, back up. And you guys could go wherever you guys need to on the actual belt to hold that pressure where you need to. All right, now we're gonna get towards the end. And tuck that through. And clip it off. Now, a big thing with this also, is you want this to spread out as, mu as much as possible so that it has that diffuse pressure throughout and not just lines coming through. If, if you do end up doing it where it's super thin, what's gonna end up happening is he's gonna have pinpoint actual pressure on this actual dressing instead of right here where it needs to be.